A female student named Helen worked in the kitchen, cooking for both kids and staff, and she saw the disparity between the meals. Students ate meagerly, staff ate like kings. That day, she got angry. She took boxes of spork outside and smashed them against the wall. Students gathered to watch. Staff tried to shoo them away. A crowd of kids pushed the staff inside into the hallway and started advancing on them. Older boys broke into a fire hose cabinet, pulled out the hoses, and sprayed the staff. Then, someone beamed the principal in the head with a medicine ball. Students saw fear in staff's eyes, and they weren't scared of them anymore. This riot is significant for a couple of reasons. The standard residential school narrative that we've heard to date involves Indigenous children passively undergoing assimilation in schools like this. What happened that day in 1961 turns that narrative on its head.